Hi, my name is Kyle Scoresby. I'm a divorce and family law attorney in Mesa, Arizona. Uh, in child custody cases, we often have allegations by one parent that the other parent has a mental health problem. It seems that everyone these days is a mental health expert. We'll get people all the time that say, oh, my husband's a narcissist, or a guy that says, my wife's bipolar. I should get custody because my wife's bipolar. Or the wife, I should get custody because my husband is a narcissist. Well, let's talk about that for a second. First of all, lay people's diagnoses of mental health issues don't hold up in court. So if you want to use a mental health problem to try to argue to get custody of your children, you're going to have to hire an expert to do that. So if, if you bring your facts of your case to me, if we think there is a basis for involving an expert, we might file a motion to have your spouse undergo a psychiatric or psychological evaluation to determine if there are any personality disorders that might affect child custody. The second part is even if a personality disorder is determined by an expert, there has to be harmful behavior that goes along with that for it to impact child custody. It's not enough for an expert to determine that one spouse suffers from some depression. If that parent, that spouse, is managing the depression using medications, counseling, and so on, and they're not engaging in any behavior that's harmful to the children, then that mental health issue won't have any impact in the child custody case at all. So if you think that your spouse has a mental health problem, or maybe you're suffering from a mental health condition, and you're wondering if that might affect the outcome of the child custody portion of your case, please give us a call. Set a time to meet with me to discuss that.